everybody welcome back to my channel double jackpot please subscribe and like I'm gonna give you the best video I can of my hometown of Sugarland Texas I'm standing in front of the sugar factory uh, all the plaques are missing I haven't been in uh, had a trip of this uh, facility in over 40 years uh, this, this was the Imperial Sugar Company they made all the pure cane sugar uh, so many people worked here. I, I believe it was erected in the 20s. Uh, I can't really give you any information. We'll add it to the video. I just want to do a quick introduction. This was an old kettle. Uh, I don't know the history behind it. You can leave it if, if you know anybody. If you know the comments, leave me the description of what uh, this was. And I'm going to pan around and show you the disrepair of the building. A lot of broken windows. It hasn't been in operation in probably 25 years um, at least 20 years I'd say but regardless of how long it's been here it's just sitting here in disrepair I don't know what the the state and what they're doing at Christmas time they have a lighted cross on the outside through the windows where it makes a cross uh, I just want to get this video out there for y'all to enjoy the old Imperial Holly sugar factory um, we're going to show you the grounds on the outside it's kind of in disrepair all the plaques are missing that uh, show you the different things but I believe the workers that worked here came through this breezeway hallway and came in through uh, through uh, a little check-in booth I'm guessing Again, if you know more about this than me, leave it in your in the comments, and I'm going to do more research as we put this video together. This is the breezeway that I was telling you. I think all the people that worked here, this was the administration and probably human resources, maybe a store. I think it was a gift shop at one time when I was a kid. People could buy little souvenirs here. It's all in disrepair and boarded up. There's not really much to show you. We're going to come around and walk down the breezeway where it looks like almost like it's a movie window where you would buy a movie ticket. Um, this is this was across the street from the old Palms Theater, which is completely missing. It's been torn down for probably 35 years. Uh, like I said, I don't have a whole lot of details because a lot of this signage is missing. I'm just really getting this footage so y'all can enjoy it and know what was the focal point of Sugarland back in its heyday. Now it's just a big city outside of Houston. In the background, you're gonna see some, it looks like some incinerators are burning. Uh, you'll get to that. This looks like a key room, a telephone room. It's all in disrepair just been baking lots of land the community around here thrived off of this factory so many people worked they had their own it's real close right off of Brook Street they had factory houses out there that people lived in and, and still do they they live in them some of the families have still continued to live here uh, from the sugar factory days so many great men have worked at this factory I've probably known at least six unfortunately they all have passed on but it's a it's a beautiful place. It's just it's just too bad it's not in operation and doing any business anymore. So so much disrepair. They have not revitalized it like they talked about. So I'm not going to get into the politics of what's going on here because I just don't know. I'm not in that group of people. We're going to walk through the breezeway, come back around and show you. I wish I could get inside the factory and show you how it looks, but it's probably just walls and nothing in there i'm sure all the equipment and everything is gone um, it was a well-made building it's an absolutely beautiful building it just uh it's just been sitting like this for the longest time in the background where the camera's really showing the highway and the cars going by just to the right of that highway was the palms theater and it's no longer with us Again, we're gonna show you the factory from a couple of different angles. We're 
we are going to do some more research and, and try to give you some more information. We're doing the best we can for what we have to work with. But the actual sugar was produced at this place. I remember seeing hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pounds of sugar everywhere. The, it had a packaging department, I believe. It had the manufacturing department. Like I said, a, so many people worked here. It had the neon lights. Before Sugarland was built up in the 60s and 70s, you could see the neon lights on in Houston from the sugar factory. You could see the, the blue and red lights. You could see them from probably five, five miles away down on Highway, Nine, uh, Highway 59. Before anything was built out here, you could see the, the sugar factory light. I remember that when I was probably 10 years old. Again, the land around here is pretty much vacant. We have a water tower right off of Main Street that you can see. And I'm really sorry that I don't have more information to tell you about the place other than this is where Imperial Sugar was made. Lots and lots of land around here. So many broken windows and so much disrepair. I sure wish it was looking like it did 30, 35 years ago. But they, they took a lot of things apart off of this building. If I find any pictures or any literature on it, I will link it to the video. A lot of history here. A lot of, lot of families raised their children from this factory. Too many that I can't even, just so many. I'm gonna show you back to the front and then we'll end this video. The grounds are pretty much unmowed and unkept. I don't know how often they do it. We've had at least two weeks of constant rain and bad weather but i can tell just by the trash and debris that it's not being maintained on a regular basis parking lot is to the left of the place going west see the plaque that says 1925 on the building I'm not sure if that's when this building was erected could be the sugar factory sponsored lots of kids baseball teams and lots of events there's so many great names that followed the history of this building IH Kempner had a lot to do with the sugar factory and they're even big down in Galveston So guys, I hope you'll like and subscribe. It's really sunny out here. We are going to uh, show you the parking lot and what's on the west side of this building. That's about the only angle we haven't covered. And we'll add a lot more to this video. So just watch us come to the west side of the building. It adjoins Nalco property to the west it's 
so much history here. You may see a Fort Bend Children Discovery if you see in the background. There's a police car parked there. She's kind of taking a nap. Sugar Lance Police Department's in the video. I don't know why he's parked there. I think he's probably just killing time. I cannot tell you what this big section that says Imperial Sugar looks like some type of containers to hold product. I don't know what it held at the time. I don't know if it held chemicals, water, sugar. I don't know what was held inside of those three towers. I'll try to figure that out. But you can see the administration's office to today's standards are awful small. The building's really small considering how many workers probably worked at this factory. And most of these workers resided right in the community, raised their families here, played baseball, went to church and school right down the street. But if you have information, feel free to leave it in the description and share your memories and your thoughts. I'm sorry I'm not that informative on all the the terms and what all went on other than I do know they did produce the actual sugar that was in your kitchen that you pour put in your iced tea and your cakes and everything else the packets of sugar they did it all here but I'm sure I left so much out so I guess we're gonna go ahead and end the video I hope you enjoyed it and we'll talk to you on the next one have a good day